Usain Bolt was often compared to a cheetah. He could reach speeds of up to 27 miles per hour. Bolt ran times of 90-19 seconds in the 200 and 9.58 in the 100 meters. Those two are world record that stands up until this day. Usain Bolt was indeed a freak act of nature. That may not happen again. Some may say. Let's look at Asafa Powell. Asafa Powell, known as a sub-10 king, he broke the world record on two occasions. Asafa Powell dominated sprinting before Bolt came on the scene. Some may argue that probably Powell never really lived up to expectation and his talent and abilities as a world-class sprinter. Ewan Blake also was another prodigy. Ewan Blake, known as the second fastest man in history, with times in the 200 meters of 1926 and in the 100 meters of 9.69. These guys were great. These guys were world beaters. But let us ask a question. Where does Jamaica's male track and field as it pertains to sprint stands now? Could it be an issue where coaching is concerned? I don't think so. Because we still have some of the world's best coaches in Jamaica. So, is it a case where Jamaica just cease to produce good male sprinters? Certainly not. We here at Sports Circle 345 does not believe that this is the issue. Well, it's, it's, it's really disappointing now to see this. Uh, I felt like we had a good couple of athletes uh, for, the last, uh, for the last couple of Olympics. So for me, it really bothers me to know that this is where we are right now, where all, most of the world is ahead of us. And a sense of going into the men, um, it's, it's going to be a tough stuff. So for me, I'm just disappointed, you understand, because I think we do have the talent. It's just to harvest and people to take the, the training seriously and, and get it done. Look at the just concluded Carifta Games Trials 2022. Look at some of the marvelous times that were done by some of our male athletes. In the under 20 100 meters final, you had three young men who did exceptionally well. You had DeAndre Daly run 10.30 to win. You had Brian Level running 10.36. Our Nkrumi coming third in 10.40. In the 200 meters, you had Brian Level running 20.53 for the first place and Davidson running 20.90 for the second place and Adrian Carr running 20.90 again for the third place. Another notable performance was Romario Hines of Spot Valley running in the under 17 age group 200 meters who finished with a time of 21.82 seconds. So, the conclusion of my analysis is this. I believe the lackluster performance of our male sprinters is a failure to make the transition from junior to senior rank. So many of our athletes perform good at boys champs. Some of them even went on to dominate Carifta and regional championships. But whenever it came time to transition from that to pro, the athletes, some of them, fade away. Someone need to look into that aspect of Jamaica male sprinting. What is happening to these athletes after they turn pro? Is it an issue that has to do with finance? Is it a case where the enthusiasm and the drive is just not there anymore? The conclusion of my argument is this, Jamaica is lacking male sprinting talents, but where the issue lies is a transitional aspect of their careers from junior to pro. 
something is happening between junior and professional transition. The powers that be should look into this because it's hurting Jamaica's male track and field program. Take for instance, Jamaica never had any representative at the just concluded World 60 meter championship in Belgrade. The race was won by Italian Marcel Jacobs. We need to pay attention and address this matter because Jamaica can once again be world beaters in the male sprinting department. We must fix it and fix it now. Jamaica of 3.8 million people need to get behind the males and encourage them. Use social media and encourage them. And also, let us try to find the issue before it is too late. Sports Circle 345. Thank you very much.